In today's video, we're gonna show you the proper way to use your sear plate griddle. We are huge fans of the sear plate griddle here at Brio because it allows you to have the best of both worlds. You can have your fire pit completely open when you're not cooking, and then when you are cooking, it gives you the maximum surface area to cook up whatever you and your friends and family want that night. It distributes the heat very evenly because it's carbon steel, it's non-stick, and it makes your fire pit that much more versatile. The first thing you wanna do is season your new sear plate so that the oil can really set into the surface maintain that non-stick surface and also prevent rust in the future. To season the griddle, take it out of the box and place it on a fire that's very low bed of coals, no flames, just a low fire, place it on your fire pit. Once the griddle's hot, remove it from the fire, place it on a non-combustible surface, and then using gloves and paper towel, lightly spread either avocado, canola, or grapeseed oil on the griddle. A little goes a long way. You can spread the oil around and wipe it until it looks dry. Then take the griddle, put it back on the fire, this time let it heat up to four to 500 degrees. You'll notice it'll start smoking a little bit and on the inner rim, it'll start to turn an amber color. Once you see that amber color, you can remove the sear plate griddle and put it on a non-combustible surface near the fire. Repeat the previous step at this point, just adding a bit more oil to the sear plate, putting it back on the fire. You'll repeat this process two to three times. Now it's seasoned, you're good to go. Start making memories with the sear plate griddle. And now we'll talk about how to cook using your sear plate griddle. The most important factor is fire control. You wanna make sure you have a very low fire when you put your sear plate griddle on the fire pit. A low bed of coals with no obvious flame coming up is ideal. Build your fire about 45 minutes to an hour before you're planning to cook and allow it to die down to that base of coals. Once you add the griddle, it'll take about five to 10 minutes to heat up to your 500 degree temperature. To test the temperature of the sear plate griddle, there's two ways. One way is to sprinkle some water on it, and if it pops and sizzles, that's perfect. If it immediately evaporates, your griddle's too hot, or just use an infrared thermometer. If your fire pit isn't perfectly level, no problem, just use your tongs or spatula to lift the corner of the sear plate to make it level. We recommend having your food nearby so that as soon as your sear plate griddle reaches the perfect temperature, you can transfer the food right on. Once you're finished with your cook, Scrape any excess food particles or grease into the fire and then just remove the sear plate griddle and take it to a non-combustible surface or to the sear plate griddle stand. Keep in mind that when you remove your sear plate griddle, it will be very hot, it will stay hot for a long period of time, making sure that it's removed from any areas that children or pets could get near it and is not in a combustible environment. While your griddle is still warm, just rub a light layer of oil on after each use to make sure that season stays protected. Once you've removed your griddle, you now have your full fire pit to enjoy. You can load it up, get a big roaring blaze going, and keep hanging out. After your sear plate griddle has cooled down, you can then move it to the indoor storage. If you do happen to leave your griddle outside and it develops some rust, don't worry, it's not a problem. You can't ruin it. In fact, we have a little video showing exactly how to re-season your griddle if that were to happen. That's all you need to know about using your sear plate griddle. We're huge fans of this product here at Brio, and can't wait to see what you guys cook on yours.